In this video, I'm going to be changing out the gear oil on all four geared hubs. I'm going to be checking out the spindle nuts and torquing down some important bolts related to it all. These trucks aren't particularly difficult to work on. I'm not a mechanic or anything. I get all my information from the Humvee's TM or technical manual. I'll watch some YouTube videos about the maintenance. I'll read some forums and I'll compile all the information down into a list like this. You could pause the video here. This tells you all the tools you're gonna need, all the fluids and everything, and torque specs. All right, let's get this thing up on jack stands. I didn't film it, but remember to always loosen your lug nuts while the vehicle is off jack stands and on the ground. Got the truck up on the jack stands, wheels are chalked, the tire I removed is sitting under the vehicle should all else fail. This giant thing is the gear hub. We're going to be removing some of these bolts to get to the spindle nut on the back. Removing this cap to tighten a bolt in there. We got the drain plug and the fill plug. Going to start by cleaning some of our work surfaces with brake cleaner. We don't want any of that in training inside once we fill it up with new gear oil. And we'll clean off this drain plug as well. One inch socket to remove the fill plug. Gonna loosen the drain plug with a 516. And we'll position our catch can right below and in front of it. We can remove our fill plug so that it drains easier. Gear oil looks pretty much almost brand new. Not bad. Clean the drain bolt magnet, assessing for large metal shards. The sludge looks pretty normal. And clean the drain bolt and the fill bolt really well. Now the Humvee technical manual doesn't explicitly state that you need to use Teflon tape, but a lot of people recommend using Teflon tape. I didn't use any on the drain plugs for the transfer case or the differentials. And when torqued down to spec, I haven't had any leaks, even after a couple of months, but this doesn't seem like it can harm anything. We wanna make sure all this residual oil is cleaned off. So if there's anything leaking, We'll be able to see it and not wonder if it's from when we did the maintenance. Going to temporarily put the fill plug back in just so we don't get any contamination inside while we're doing the rest of this. There's four of these three quarter inch bolts that'll give us access to the spindle nut. All of this old red gasket that's on here is going to have to get scraped off. The spindle nut shouldn't be loose. Give it a good wiggle. Try to twist it. If there's any play, you're going to have to replace it. Spin it until you find these two locking tabs. Now I have my e-brake off and the car is in neutral, so by shoving something into this which i think is part of the airlift system i'm able to get a little bit of leverage i'm able to spin this which in turn is going to be spinning the spindle nut go ahead and inspect all the way around it after 
after scraping for pretty much half an hour with some brake cleaner, a wire brush, being careful not to spray any brake cleaner into the spindle nut, this is the final product. I'm using Permatex Ultra Black RTV Silicone Gasket Maker. It would have been too hard to film, but I got this continuous bead of silicone going all the way around. The silicone I'm using says to just finger tighten and let it dry for an hour before actually torquing it down. 65 foot-pounds. So with a lot of effort, you can spin this around, and once you spin it to a point where you can access this, you can use the square drive connector of just a normal ratchet to open this up. In here is a single bolt that connects your CV half shaft to your gear hub. You want to make sure it's snug. Thirty-seven foot pound. Ten foot pound. As a side note, I'm here working on the front, and the front is immensely easier to work on than the rear. Reason being is this back plate can move completely out of the way, giving you really good access to the spindle nut and making it really easy to clean this. The TM calls for an 80W90 gear oil. You can optionally apply Teflon tape. Fill with a half quart of gear oil, giving it some time to settle. With the truck off the jack stands and under its own weight, torque each of these lug nuts down to 90 to 110 foot-pound.